where people are working out and then suddenly um, something happens and they have a cardiac arrest. So my question to you is how is this avoidable? What can be done to prevent it? And why does this really happen? Yeah, it's a very, very uh, pertinent question in today's world. Uh, you know, we recently lost so many uh, you know, film personalities and uh, uh, political people. You know, one of the ministers in Ankara expired while going to Jinnah. This is uh, brought into focus in recent years, but it was always there. If you remember a long time ago, there was uh, one American athlete. Mm -hmm. She was uh, 100 meters dash first, 400 meters dash first in Olympics. Her name was uh, Kersi Joyner. And she had one day, at less than 40 years of age, a heart attack and expired. Oh my God. So, you know, this uh, uh, disease has always been there for a long time. It's a disease of modern generation, the coronary artery disease, what we call it. And, uh, the celebrities, when they get into this problem, it's highlighted. Everybody knows about it. But we do see, as doctors, events like this happening in young people, heart attack, sudden death, not uncommon. Right. So the question comes, if they are doing such good exercise, why are they getting it? The right. common man will ask, is there any point in going to uh, doing exercise and going to the gym if somebody so well known and is a, you know they are health freaks some of them are health Absolutely, freaks yeah. and uh, see that Shukla from Bombay they are health freaks uh, and yet they got it so the actual answer if you ask me really nobody knows why these people who are so careful about health so over jealous about health mm -hmm. the ordinary man is not so over jealous Absolutely. but these guys are over jealous so then of course we do not know really the complete uh, health history of these uh, uh, you know, celebrities who we lost. Uh, maybe uh, you know some of their health problems. You and I may not know it, you know. But at the same time, I would say that uh, it does not mean that we don't do exercise. That's it. If if the uh, people going to gym, being over jealous about health, very careful. If they got into this problem, uh, a wrong notion is conveyed to the public where that maybe exercising is not good. That's not the truth. We have lots and lots of data that those who do exercise regularly, those who work during their working hours, say some of us have got uh, so much of physical exercise as part of our work. Some of us sit at the computer, yeah. uh, software industry people, and uh, their work does not involve physical exercise. So we have lots of data on this, that those who do regular exercise are definitely benefited by doing exercise. I would like to say uh, nobody should be misled into thinking that exercise is not good. True. At the same time, the exercise will bring into uh, manifestation the underlying coronary artery disease. Maybe that physical exercise, a vigorous physical exercise has uh, made it obvious to all of us in the sense that we got a heart attack, some of them unfortunately we lost them. So uh, exercising is important, moderate exercising is important and uh, I would say that if you are trying to start an exercise program, go through a physical checkup complete physical checkup whether you are fully healthy or not and on the basis of that decide whether how much exercise you will undertake. So exercising is good, exercising will help us in reducing chances of diabetes and it will reduce the severity of diabetes and uh, high blood pressure and so on and it also improves the longevity of life. Sure. So all these things are there but caution is required before starting an exercise program and take good care, take a complete physical checkup load any underlying heart disease and then take it. Sure. Is, could this be hereditary? Well, there is definitely a hereditary component. A lot of uh, uh, families where uh, people died relatively young, uh, the father or mother or uncles, etc. Uh, definitely the younger generation should take good care of them. They should see whether there is an underlying condition which is running in the family. Sure. This is a disease which has a strong hereditary Sure. So, pre so according to you, prevention is basically getting regular checkups and still carrying on with life the way it is. Yes, they should be, do a um, regular exercise, mm -hmm. but before starting it, they need to go through a some proper regular physical exam. examination. Yeah. 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 Sure. That's why you know TX Hospital wants to encourage preventive checkups. You come here, get a complete checkup of your cholesterol, <coughs> your exercise capacity, blood milk test, and so on and so forth. See if you have already got diabetes and take good, good care of all these things. Control it, nip it in the bud. Yes. Great, thank you.